What's happening, guys? So, match preview of a competition we have not played in since 2017. It's been what? Said six years now. <sighs> been a long time, but we're finally back in it. Champions League Arsenal versus PSV at home. Let's get it. So, Champions League fan, the only place in London for it, unfortunately we've never won it, Emotional but hopefully, especially with how much, how desperate we've been to get back into this competition, hopefully we're going to try and win it this season. Anyways, we face PSV, a team that we faced last season in the Europa League, which we narrowly beat at the Emirates. Um, was it 1 0? 1 0 at the Emirates, and then we lost 2 0 out there against them. So let's get into it, let's read into it. Having faced off against one another in Group A of the previous UEFA Europa League campaign, this UEFA Champions League meeting between Arsenal and PSV will be an interesting test of their individual progression into the elite echelon. echelon echelon of European clubs. Once regular occupants of the uh, UCL knockout stages in the 2000s, both clubs have recently had longer than desired absences from the Champions League group stages. The logjam at the top of the Premier League table meant that Mikel Arteta had to limit his squad rotation to ensure full points were earned at Everton on Sunday. The team was rewarded for prioritising league football with a crucial 1-0 away win that saw them join three other clubs in maintaining unbeaten Premier League records after five rounds. It was their third consecutive game to see a substitute score, which if continued could subdue the impact of a potential injury sustained in the first half at Goodison Park to Gabriel Martinelli. Now Martinelli, I do not expect to see this game. No. Nope. I expect him to for the North London Derby, but yep. you know, I would not start him if he's fit for this game. I don't think I would. Just just to make sure, because we need to baby our players. Like we need to wrap them in cotton wool and everything like You know what I mean? You know how much protection we're gonna need to put on our players, man. You know what I mean? We need to treat these these players as as if you 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 know you you. you Putting a condom on to because you you were gonna go in raw and you thought nah I can't I can't risk that fam. <laughs> you know what I mean that's that's where we need to be right now. After two consecutive uh, UEFA Europa League group stages in which they could not progress beyond the last thirty two, PSV have been tipped by bookmakers as the third most likely side to win Group B behind Sevilla, who denied them progression to the round of sixteen in the previous UEFA Europa League group favourites and group favourites Arsenal but they could hardly come into this group stage in better form piling on 13 goals in three wins including 5-1 home demolition of Scotland's Rangers in the final qualification round of this competition it will be the third group, Champions League group stage journey for manager Peter Boz I don't know how you pronounce his name B-O-S-Z I don't know how you pronounce that if there's some fancy way of pronouncing it Pardon me. Who has found Europe's top competition tough going, having been, have once been unceremoniously sacked within a week of completing a winless group stage at Borussia Dortmund in 2017-18, drawn to loss for. But having since taken by Leverkusen and Leon to the quarterfinals of the Europa League, he has he and his Dutch club could be ready to take the next step up. So, yeah. Okay, so down here will not play. Martinelli is on that list. So El Nenny will play. Martinelli will play. Partey and Timber will play. Um, but we've got nobody questionable on ours. Um, so yeah, 
I'm actually looking forward to it tomorrow night. Looking forward to it. Uh, so last five fixtures for Arsenal. Um, obviously, we, we we beat Everton one nil last game. The game before that, we beat Man United three one. The game before that, we drew against Fulham at home. Beat Crystal Palace at Palace and uh, beat Nottingham Forest at home. Those are our last five fixtures. Now, PSVs, they have the same record as us in terms of, you know, the last five games, they've drawn one and won three. Uh, they came out 4 0 winners in the last two games. Um, I would go by their league one because they play Champions League qualif qualifications. Um, uh, they won three one, and then won two nil. Four games in their league so far, but the the they beat Feyenoord in the Super Cup, which will be like the Dutch Community Shield. Then I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, so head to head, as we can see here. Um, you know, the last time we played them at their ground, we lost 2 0, right? Last time they came, Emirates, they lost 1 0, right? Before 2022, the last time we played them was 2007, to which we drew at the Emirates 1 1. But at their ground in 2007, we lost 1 0. And in 2004, we drew 1 1 at their ground. And at Highbury, we won 1-0 in 2004. 2002, we drew 0-0 at Highbury. 2002, also, we beat them 4-0 at their ground. So, we haven't won at PSV since 2002. Damn! Let me see if I can see who scored in that game. Gilberto Silva, Jungberg and Henri twice. Last time... We won at their ground. <laughs> God, no. You know what I mean? I mean, it's it's, uh, it's been a long time, but I'd like to say that a fresh Arsenal is going to be turning up, fresh, new and ready. You know what I mean? That's that's what I'd like to think. You know I mean, Champions League. This this is a competition that we that that you know the, the the toxic positive ones of the fan base that you know thought that, you know, well, we've got Champions League football anyway, you know, we're, just, <laughs> we're in it now, now, now let's see what Arteta can do in this, now let's see if we can get out of this group stage, you know what I mean, because we can, we can say, people can turn around and say, oh, the, this group ain't that bad for Arsenal, we haven't won at PSV since 2002, <laughs> Sevilla, they're nothing to play with, you know what I mean, Lons, I can't remember the last time we played them, if we've ever played them. You know what I mean? But people don't see any fancy football name, football club names in there and think, yeah, the group's easy enough. Not necessarily, fam. You know what I mean? It's still possible that we could not make it out of this. Yeah. It's even possible that we could be staring at Europa League football, fam. But if we are, if that does happen, we should go for it. We shouldn't do all this, oh, well, we're kind of... Up in the table, mate. Uh, bigger fish to fry. No, I don't want to see none of that. I mean, you don't want to see none of that. Oh, hell no. Now, in terms of starting 11 for this for this game tomorrow night, I would expect David Ray to be in goal for this one. I would. I don't think he's going to be a one off that he was just there for the, against Everton. Nope. He wasn't even tested. So it makes sense to, to play him again. So I'd expect him to, you know, Start in the in this match, and the defense. I expect the usual suspects. I don't expect any goofiness, really. Champions League, we can't afford goofiness. No. So the back four would be the back four: Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, Zinchenko. Then in the midfield, mostly Partey is injured, so it's going to be Rice, Odegaard, and it. It depends on what he's, who he's going to go with. He's going to go with Kai Havertz. He's going to go with Fabio Vieira. I'd rather him go with Fabio Vieira because we we would be better off attacking wise and everything if we play Vieira. Even though for me Vieira didn't, he was nothing special against Everton in my opinion, and didn't show 
it, for me, it didn't really show, oh, this is why I should, I should start games now, kind of thing. But he's a better alternative than, than Havertz. I mean, he, he's a better alternative. So that's what I'd go with, with Vieira. Or maybe even Smithy G, fam. Smith Ralph, fam. Maybe even him. Because I don't see why he can't get games. You know what I mean? He's better than Havertz. Why can't he get games? Now, Martinelli won't play, which means you think it'd be Trossard that, that they'll start. I bet not. Because Saka's going to be starting on the right. Saka needs to be dropped. And I'm not saying that to say he should be dropped because he's been playing playing, playing poorly or anything like that. No. He hasn't, he hasn't been the best in recent times. But when he's, when he's been playing, he has been doing his job. Like... He, he will either score or assist, right? But the Saka, the fully fit Saka, we haven't been getting that for a while now. We can't afford to play games like that. So what I, personally what I do is um, have Trossard on the right, um, Nelson on the left, and uh, Jesus in the middle. You know I mean, that's that's what I, who I'd go with. I'd I'd want to say in Ketia, but I don't know. I mean, if he starts in Ketia, I won't be mad because you know Jesus has had two big injuries on his knee. You know what I mean? I don't mind us being patient, bringing him back in. You know what I mean? I don't mind that. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? Because I'm just thinking of the the. the you know how vulnerable Arsenal players just are to injury. You know what I mean? Then if if Enketia can get on the score sheet, that would be sweet, fam. You know what I mean? But that's that's who I go with. But I know I know what Arteta is going to do. He's going to start Saka. You know I mean, he's going to persist on starting him. And I wouldn't be surprised if he puts Reese Nelson on the left, God, just to not start Trussard. You know what I mean, I won't be surprised. Do not be surprised if you see Trussard on that bench, despite Gabriel's not playing. Gabriel Martinelli, sorry, is not playing. And you think that Trossard would, would, would slot straight in. I won't be surprised. Maybe, maybe, maybe Arteta might go with Trossard up front. And then uh, Nelson on the left. I mean, he might do that. And he, because he's, he, he's, he's playing Saka. There's no way Jose Enrique is he not going to play Saka. Or starting. You know what I mean? So, that's that's what we can expect from from uh, Arteta which is will, which will be a guarantee Saka's going to be starting fam yep. anyways that's it for this video Champions League tomorrow night when we've got Champions League games tonight I'm going to try and watch uh, Newcastle versus AC Milan and then uh, Arsenal tomorrow night against PSV we've also got Banter, Banter Chester United that are playing Bayern Munich away from home Good luck with that. But anyways, like the video, share the video, comment, subscribe to the channel, follow all the socials, links are in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Champions League, here we come.